Hello friends. So today we are going to do some cleaning, but I also want to do one mobile home project in this video. I think that's probably the best way for me to get these out for y'all without it seeming overwhelming <laughs> and way more realistic. So coming back here to our hallway because this is the room that I want to work on and I'll show you why right now. So this is the door. It's never closed, but I never painted or took the tape off the other side. So I need to paint this door white. And then up here, I need to do like a, you know, touch up a few places. I need to paint the trim as well another coat because I just done one but there's so many areas that need like another coat of paint so that's what my plan is for the day and even this door I painted the other side of it white but I never finished <laughs> so um, I actually need to move this piece of wood out of the way. Let me do that in just a second. Okay, we'll do it together. Hello. How'd you do? I'm not broken. I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come right. So as you can see, I shut my door too, and it also needs to be painted on both sides, actually, and same thing over here. All this needs to be um, done again so that it can look clean. Um, the actual walls are fine. They're solid white, but... We do have a lot of areas in this hallway that never got finished. So that is, that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to put y'all on a time lapse. I think that would be fun and we'll just get to work. All right, y'all. I just went through and dusted everything. I actually used this. <laughs> I used this outside on my window. So that's why it's extended. But this mop thing is so good it's specifically for your walls um and it just gets the dust right off but also i wanted to tell y'all about this if you've not seen my other re like remodel repair update videos every time i paint i put a bag over this somebody gave me that tip um and it is so clever because now whenever you have a you know, when you're cleaning up, it makes cleanup so much easier because you don't have to worry about washing this thing, which can be a disaster. And then also, I have this little clear tray that when I pour my paint into here, then I will put the bucket right here. That way, any paint that drips off the side of the can will just go in this little drip pan right here. And that actually is from the top of a aluminum foil. Like you tur put your turkey in. <laughs> so, smart, smart. There you go. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Since I'm 
right, lovely people, I have an update for you. Um, I think those are cracks in the ceiling up there. Also, we need to repaint this ceiling. We will do that. Um, okay. So, I've got one coat on this door, which y'all saw me do. And then, also, I, like, remember that was really orange right there? So, I painted that. I've got the trim painted one more coat but it needs another coat <laughs> it needs another coat the coats never end um i brought that piece of wood back out here because i did one coat on this door which y'all saw what you didn't see was i started working on the inside like the door frame on the bathroom door but i noticed last time i did this <laughs> When I would go to turn, I'm too wide and I would have paint all on my back side um, from trying to do both at the same time. So that's why I didn't finish it over here. But I did get the bathroom door painted on this side. For reference, this is what it will look like on all the doors when they're done. Really nice. That took me two coats, I think. Um, so there's that one. And then I also did Erin's door. And this is hilarious. I think we showed this in, I don't know if we showed this in a video or if I showed my friends. But this cracks me up every time. This door is so small. This door went to our bathroom. Um, and Erin's room actually didn't have a door. Um, so I was like, here, take this door. We don't use it for our main bathroom anyways. Because it's in our bedroom. And nobody comes over here so it's so much shorter than these other doors um so yeah anyways we don't have another door that's that wide so anyways i am going to put all of this paint back in my can because i am exhausted just from doing this amount so I would love for y'all to subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell. That way um, in the next video when I do more like when we pick back where we left off y'all will get updated so you won't miss out. But I want this to be like real life. This stuff does not, well my reality, this stuff does not get done in a day. So I kind of want to make this like a series um, because we're probably going to live here for a very long time, if not forever, just depends, but at least a very long time. So this is definitely not like a, we'll be done within a month and then you can unsubscribe and all that. This is going to be a process. So if you want to keep up with the process, definitely subscribe this year. One of my goals is to focus more on getting things done in the house, not so much just keeping it clean. I, I love to clean and I love routine so that's why y'all see me always cleaning plus the YouTube algorithm likes it anyways I'm rambling but we're gonna um, stop for now I am going to probably pick up I don't know how long this video is I said I was gonna clean some of this video but I am a mess so I don't know what I'm gonna do Anyways, I probably will clean up a little bit of the house in this video and then we'll pick back where we left off in the next video. You got me dancing in a storm, burning everything we know, dressing up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your storm, or I'm looking like.
y'all, I interrupt this broadcast <laughs> to share with you Melody Susie candles. So these are scented candles. They are nine ounces. They come packaged so well. I have ordered candles from very large retailers. If you know which ones I'm talking about, you see them on my channel a lot. And they do not package theirs like this at all. Like you do not get styrofoam or anything. So I love, first off, as a candle enthusiast, that these come packaged very nicely. The foam is all the way around and then it's also in a box that fits the candle perfectly. So it's not gonna be like, you can't hear it rattling or anything. Um, so this, these candles are super special because they have a little surprise gift on the inside. You just open this right here and then there will be a piece of jewelry and we've been painting. So that's why my hand still has paint on it, but let me get this to focus. Look how beautiful that is. What's awesome is I have big fingers, y'all. I probably wear like a size nine in rings and you don't have to worry about them being too small for you because they are expandable and you can expand it out to as far as you need to and it's super easy to stretch as well. So if you needed to stretch out, you can do that. So they really are truly like one size fits all. <laughs> you can make it fit so this is the really pretty that would be perfect for valentine's day um and i think these are a great gift for valentine's day as well um they're super affordable i'm gonna leave her link down below um and they're just a really nice gift to get so this one's the bahama breeze and they smell amazing they're not super strong like to where it'll make you feel sick but um you know you're not gonna forget about it if you leave it in a room you will smell it um it's just kind of what i like then this one if i can get it out of the box all right this one is sea salt coconut and it smells really fresh i'm probably gonna light that right now because our house is a mess and i like to at least the house to smell clean and then, <laughs> this is the ring that this one came with this one's so pretty it's got cute little butterflies on it and I love how like dainty it is and these are really nice so not only do you get a candle but you get a ring as well and the rings are surprises so you don't know which one you're gonna get but I do love how both of these were like the rose gold color so I will leave her link down below it's melody susie and y'all go check out the candles this would be great as a valentine's day gift mother's day gift um just a treat yourself gift you know all, all sorts of gift ideas you could use with these candles and they're so nice so there you go I'm about to light one From my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door
guys, that is it for me. I'm wore out. I'm going to take the rest of the day off. And I hope y'all have a great rest of the day whenever you're watching this. And also, I will see y'all back here on Thursday. We'll pick back up with the painting where we left off and do some more homemaking. All right. Bye. Shut the lights go in front of Get the wine and the corkscrew